the schools have presented their solutions on the screen. I've looked at it, so I'll go through the solution as has been provided by the consultant and then let on the marks. So they were told that a compound with molecular formula C5H10O has several isomeric compounds. They were to write the names of all the isomers of the compound that are non-branched, unsaturated alcohols and to indicate which can exhibit both geometric and optical isomerism. The key words here was that the um, compound has to be an alcohol. It has to be unsaturated and non-branched. Okay, so these are the um, isomers I was expecting. 4-pentene-1-all or 4 in one all I'll go with a simpler name. 4-pentene-1-all, 4-pentene-2-all, 1-pentene-3-all, 1-pentene-2-all, 3-pentene-1-all, 3-pentene-2-all, 2-pentene-3-all, 2-pentene-2-all, and then 2-pentene-1-all. The one that exhibits both geometric and optical isomerism is 3-pentene-2-all. From the solutions, I'm not sure what happened with Cuphoidia sectec. You were given a five carbon chain alcohol that was non-branched, but all your structures were butene of a four carbon one. They had zero, they didn't get any correct. <laughs> At Cherencia Senior High School, you also told that this, the isomers should be unsaturated and all the compounds you gave were saturated. You gave pentanol. They also had zero. <laughs> At this adult college, I don't know why you were told to give an alcohol. Your first compound decided to give an alkanone. Is it that you didn't read the question or you were in a hurry? But luckily for them, they were able to write the names of four of the isomers, so they have four out of ten. That brings us to the end of round three. At the end of round three, the scores are Acherencia Senior High School, six points. Kuforidia Sec Tech, 14 points. Adisadal College, 33 points. Before we go on to round four, Acherencia Senior High School would like Philip Ejenim to come on for Charles Edu. Welcome, Philip. Round four. In this round, for every statement that comes to your school, I want you to tell me if it's true or false. So those are the only answers I'm expecting, true or false. If you answer correctly, you'll be awarded two points. If your answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point of one. If you decline to answer, another school can take up your question by ringing their bell. And then if they answer correctly, they would also have two points. If the answer is incorrect, they have the penalty point of one. In this round, I'll start with Kuforidia Sectek. Kuforidia Sectek. This is a preamble to all the schools, actually. The given number is a prime number. Kuforidia Sectek, 113. Yes, Gideon. True. Yes, it's true. Acherencia, 133. Philip. True. No, it's false. Adesado. 173. Abdul Adud. True. Yes, it's true. A preamble. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to the aqueous humor of the mammalian eye. Kuforidia sectek. It acts as a reflective medium. False. No, it's true. 
Acherensia. It regulates the intraocular pressure in the eye. Yes, Philip. True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Adesado. It is present in the full length of the cornea and the iris, in the anterior and the posterior chamber. False. No, it's true. Coforidia sec sec. If the current in an inductor is constant, the energy it stores is proportional to the square of the current in it. False. No, it's true. Acherensia. If the current in an inductor is changing, the inductor fails to capture all the magnetic energy. Yes, Philip. It's true. No, it's false. Addis Adel College. If the current in an inductor is changing, the energy it stores changes at a rate that depends on the current, as well as the rate of change of the current. True. Yes, it's true. Coforidia <laughs> sec sec. The molecule with molecular formula C3H6 may exhibit geometric isomerism. Yes, Gideon. False. Yes, it's false. Acherensia. The molecule with molecular formula C4H8 may exhibit geometric isom isomerism. Philip. False. No, it's true. Addis Adel. The molecule with molecular formula C5H12 may exhibit optical isomerism. False. Yes, it's false. A preamble. Indicate whether the following are true or false with respect to the group which shares the maximum number of common characters. Indicate if the following is true or false with respect to the group which shares the maximum number of common characters. Kuforidia sec sec. Two genera of a family. Two genera of a family. False. Yes, it's false. Acherensia. Two species of mm -hmm. a genus. Philip. It's true. No, it's false. Addis Adel. Two individuals of a species. True. Yes, it's true. Coforidia <laughs> sec sec. 11 on 6 is greater than 23 on 12. False. Yes, it's false. Acherensia. 15 on 3 is less than 13 on 11. Yes, Philip. Pause. No, it's true. <laughs> Addis Adel. Nineteen on thirteen is less than eleven on seven. Yes. True. No, yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah. 
Kofori dia sec tech. The total energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is constant, but its kinetic and potential energies vary with time. True. Yes, it's true. Atirencia, the kinetic energy of a simple harmonic oscillator is less than its potential energy at the point where its potential energy is minimum. Yes, Philip. It's true. No, it's false. Addis Adel, there is no point along the path of a simple harmonic oscillator at which its kinetic energy is less than its potential energy. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Coforidia sectec, all group one metals react intensely with water. True. Yes, it's true. Atirencia, the reactivity of group one, the reactivity of group one metals with water increases down the group without exception. Yes, Philip. It's false. No, it's true. Adi Sadel, and this is the last question for the round. Adi Sadel. Group one metals are light and are less than are less dense than water. Group one metals are light and less dense than water. Yes, Abdul Adud. False. Yes, that is false. That brings us to the end of round four. At the end of round four, here are the scores. Atirencia Senior High School, one point. <laughs> Koforidia Secondary Technical School, 27 points. Adesadel College, 46 points. Round five. In this final round of the contest, I'll present with you, I'll present to you a series of clues for four different riddles. And I want you to solve for these riddles by using the clues. The clues should assist you. So at any time, if you have an answer, ring your bell. I'll stop and allow you to give the answer. If your answer is correct on the first clue, you'd have five points. If it's on the second clue, four points. Any clue thereafter, you'd have three points. However, if your answer is incorrect, you stay out of that particular riddle and come back for the next one, okay? Also in this round, God seeks to reward a school that is able to solve three or four of the riddles correctly. He 
If you're able to solve three out of four, you win 1,200 cities. And if you solve all four, you win 1,600 cities in what we call the Goal Riddle Bonanza. Best wishes to all of you in the Goal Riddle Bonanza. Our first riddle. I taste so sweet, but contain no sugar. Indeed, I am a sugar substitute commonly used in foods and beverages. I am a low-calorie artificial sweetener. I am about 200 times sweeter than sucrose. I am a methyl ester of aspartic acid. Who am I? Adisado. Aspartame. That's correct. <laughs> that came on the last clue. They have three points. I am a physical quantity. I am not a conserved quantity. I am a type of energy. I am not gravitational. Neither am I electromagnetic, nor am I elastic. I equal the difference between the energy of an object as observed in a moving frame and the energy of the same object in its rest frame. Yes, Addis Adel College. Addis Adel. Relativistic kinetic energy. Repeat that. Relativistic kinetic energy. No. Um, Corporate <laughs> Yasek, take. Uh, kinetic energy. Kin kinetic energy. That's correct. <laughs> I am a theory of biological evolution. I designate a distinctive form of evolutionary explanation for the history and diversity of life on Earth. Though I am usually used to refer strictly to biological evolution, creationists have appropriated me to refer to the origin of life or to cosmic evolution that are distinct to biological evolution. While I have remained in use among the public, when referring to modern evolutionary theory, it has increasingly been argued by science writers that I am an, a, I am an inappropriate term for modern evolutionary theory. The theory states that all species of organisms arise and develop through the natural selection of... Darwin's theory of evolution. No. And develop through the natural selection of small inherited variations that increase the individual's ability to compete, survive, and reproduce. I am the name given to the theory of evolution which originates with the work of the Englishman, Charles Robert. Addis Adel. Theory of natural selection. No. Charles Robert Darwin, particularly as expounded in his work on the origin of species in 1859. Who am I? Darwin's theory. No. And we, we, may have, we may have to come back to this, but the answer I have here is Darwinism. Our last riddle. I am a two-digit number. Forward or backward, the value is the same. Yes, go for it, yes, exit. 88. No. I change here. Eleven. Huh? Eleven. No. <laughs> Addis Adel. The sum of my digits is the base of the decimal number system. The difference of my digits is the identity for addition. I am a product of two primes, which differ by a product of two successive primes. 
I am midway between five decades and six decades. Who am I? Yes, at this adult college. 55. That is correct. <laughs> that brings us to the end of round five. At the end of round five, here are the scores. At Cherencia Senior High School, one point. <laughs> Koforidia Secondary Technical School, 30 points. <laughs> At Isadel College, 52 points. <laughs> With that score, Addisado College is the 24th school to qualify for the quarterfinal stage of the national championship. Congratulations, Addisado. Koforidia Secondary Technical School, thank you for joining us. We hope to see you next year with a stronger performance. Same goes to Achirinsia Senior High School. We hope to see you next year with a much improved performance. To my audience, thank you for joining us for this contest. Congratulations once again to Addisado College for winning this contest and qualifying to the quarterfinal stage. If Welcome to the quarterfinals of the 2022 National Science and Math Quiz. This is the penultimate quarterfinal contest featuring Addisado College. <laughs> Asin State College. and Swedro Senior High School. I am happy to announce that we are in the Absa Bank money zone. What this means is that each point end is worth 10 Ghana CDs to each member of the team, three students and the teacher. So far, nobody has left the money zone empty-handed. Thank you, Alsa Bank. Before we meet the contestants, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Alsa Bank and supported by Joy News, Goyle, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Airtel Tigo, GNPC, Dano Milk, Newmont Ghana, Academic City University College, Accra College of Medicine, Zipline, Studio HD, and YFM. My name is Elsie Fa Kaufman. I am an Associate Professor of Biomedical Engineering and the Dean of the School of Engineering Sciences, University of Ghana. Thank you. Now let's meet the contestants. Swedro Senior High School is represented by Yamiche Prosper. Aka Divine Elikem. You're welcome, gentlemen. How are you? you Great. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourselves. When you are not doing so much science and math, what do you do? Uh, for me, I like watching movies. Movies? Yes. What type of movie? Like uh, science fiction. And stuff. Uh, science fiction. So you are still doing the science. Anyway, we have science everywhere, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And you? I love listening to inspirational music. Hey, that's great. What sort of things make the music inspirational? And the kind of words used in the music. Okay. All right. So I'm sure you are expecting a good contest, so I'm not going to ask you about that. Mm? Yes, please. I wish you well. Thank you. Ascent State College is represented by... 
You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, madam. And how are you doing? You're doing good. You're well? Yes, please. Have you been to quarterfinals before? Not really, madam. This is our first time so far. Oh, special welcome. What does that feel like? <laughs> we are really enthused and we are very happy for how far the Lord has brought us. Okay, that's great. That's great. In that case, would you tell us a little about your school? Sure, madam. Mm -hmm. um, our school is located in the central region and it was established in the year 2006. It's a mixed gender school and our motto is knowledge, hard work and perseverance. Regardless, regardless of little challenges of lack of facilities, our teachers have been putting in much effort in order to train us so that we will reach this far. Yes. We are very um, happy and, and thrilled that so far the hard work that we put in, the Lord has brought us this far. That's great. That's great. I wish you the very best. This Adel College is represented by Abdul Wadud Abdul Mumi at the LVFO. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you? We are very fine. That's great. Well, so another quarter final. Yes, please. This year, what does that feel like? We feel great that we are adding up to the gains of our predecessors. <laughs> Talking about uh, predecessors and so on, I see that you have very strong support. Yes, Any shout outs? Shout out to everyone here. <laughs> round four. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement is available to the two remaining schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, two full points. If not, that penalty point. Best wishes, everyone. I'm starting with you again. When identical concentrations of ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide react, the pH of the resulting solution will always be basic. Abdul Wadud? True. No, that's a false statement. When identical volumes and concentrations of ammonia and nitric acid react, the pH of the resulting solution will always be acidic. Nyamiche? False. No, that's a true statement. Swedro? When identical concentrations of methanoic acid and potassium hydroxide react, a greater volume of methanoic acid will be required at the equivalence point. Elekem? True. No. That's a false statement. Next set, 20. I have a preamble. Preamble to all schools. A 20 Newton box on a horizontal surface is pulled by a horizontal 20 Newton force. That's a preamble. Now, 
the net force on the object makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. Abdul Wadud? True. Oh, no. That's a false statement. The magnitude of the net force on the object is 20 root 2 Newton. Nyamiche. True. No. That's a false statement. The normal force on the object is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the weight of the object. Yes, Elekem. True. Yes. At a stationary point of a curve, the curve lies above the tangent at the point. Abdul Wadud? False. Yes. At a point of inflection of a curve, the curve lies below the tangent at the point. Nyamiche? False. Yes. At a maximum point of a curve, the curve lies above the tangent at the point. Yes, Alakam? False. Yes. Next set, preamble to all schools. Preamble. Indicate whether the given statement is true or false with respect to the functions of membrane proteins. Processing lipids and proteins for secretion through the plasma membrane. Abdul Wadud? True. No, that's a false statement. <laughs> Synthesizing proteins from amino acids. Yamiche? False. Yes. <laughs> Acting as receptors for hormones. Elekem? True. Yes. <laughs> Your statement. Propanoic acid has a higher boiling point than propanol. Abdul Wadud? True. Yes. <laughs> one propanol has a higher boiling point than one fluoropropane. Yamiche? False. No. That's a true statement. Propanone has a higher boiling point than 2 propanol. Elekem? False. Yes. Next set, preamble to all schools. Preamble. An object takes 0 0.5 seconds to fall a vertical distance of 0 0.75 meter from rest onto the surface of a celestial body. That's a preamble. 
again. An object takes 0 0.5 seconds to fall a vertical distance of 0 0.75 meter from rest onto the surface of a celestial body. Now your statement. Surface gravity on the celestial body is less than the surface gravity on Earth. Abdul Wadud? True. Yes. The speed of the object when it strikes the surface of the celestial body is 3 meters per second. Nyamiche? False. Oh, no. That's a true statement. The object takes one second to fall a vertical distance of 1.5 meter from rest onto the surface of the celestial body. Elekem? True. Oh no. That's a false statement. Next set, preamble to all schools. Preamble to all schools. Okay, contestants, I need you to take a deep breath. Let's just take a short break of deep breaths. Are you okay? Okay. So the preamble. Over the appropriate restricted domain, that's a preamble. Inverse sine of the sine of pi is equal to pi. Abdul Wadud. False. Yes. <laughs> Ascent states. Inverse cosine of the cosine of pi is equal to pi. Nyameche. True. Yes. Swedro. Inverse tangent of the tangent of pi is equal to pi. Elekem? False. Yes. Last set of statements with another preamble. Preamble to all schools. Indicate whether the given statement is true or false with respect to external fertilization. At the Sadal College, the offspring formed as a result of external fertilization have a better chance of survival than those formed inside an organism. Abdul Wadud? False. Yes. <laughs> Only a few gametes are released into the medium. Yamiche? False. Yes. Last statement. Water is the medium in a majority of organisms exhibiting external fertilization. Elekem? True. Yes. And that's the end of the fourth round. <laughs> the end of the fourth round. Swedro Senior High School has 24 points. 
at the Sadal College has 25 points. Assin State College has 26 points. The contest will be decided in the fifth and final round. Round five. In this round, we have the Gold Riddle Bonanza. This is a reward for a school that solves three or four riddles. At this stage, solving three riddles is worth 1,600 Ghana CDs, while solving four riddles is worth 2,000 Ghana CDs to your team. I hope it's attractive enough. Good. So obviously, we are going to be solving riddles. I will be reading out the clues. Your objective is to solve the riddle. For an opportunity to solve a riddle, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell at the Sadal College? Thank you. Yours, Assin State College. Thank you. And yours, Swedro. Thank you. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, three points. There are four of them, obviously. Let's begin. First one. I am an aromatic hydrocarbon found in crude oil. I am a white crystalline solid at room temperature. I am also produced from the burning of organic compounds, including cigarettes and wood. I am commonly used as an insecticide. Yes, Abdul Wadud. Naftali. You are right. They solve the riddle on the fourth clue, three points. Next one. I am one of the three main planes of the body used to describe the location of body parts in relation to each other's axis. I am an example of a longitudinal plane because I am perpendicular to the transverse plane. Abdul Wadud. Sagittal plane. That's incorrect. <laughs> I continue. My description applies to most animals as well as humans, even though humans walk upright. For humans, I can transect a standing body into two halves in an imaginary line that cuts through both shoulders. I am so called because I lie in the direction. Yes, Yamiche. A lateral plane. Hmm. For you. For you. Because I lie in the direction of the coronal suture that separates the two parietal bones from the frontal bone of the skull. So who am I? Elekem. The dorsal plane. Oh, how? <laughs> Anyone with all these clues? Anyone? No, you are just making noise. 
the right answer is the coronal plane, and this is also known as the frontal plane. Next one. I am closely related to a circle. In reality, I am not part of a circle. Every circle has me. I am essential in the definition of a circle. I fix the circle. I am central to the circle. <laughs> yes. Abdul Wadud. Go. Center. Yes. <laughs> clues three points last one last one I am a phenomenon associated with waves I occur with both transverse and longitudinal waves I am not diffraction Frequency is a significant parameter in any discussion of me. I am the apparent change in the frequency. Yes, Nyamiche. The Doppler effect. Yes, it's the Doppler effect. I was reading the last clue, three points. And that's the end of the fifth round. At the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Swedro Senior High School has 24 points. Assen State College has 29 points. Addisadal College has 31 points. Swedro Senior High School, thank you for being here and for giving us a good contest. Unfortunately, we must say goodbye. Best wishes to you. Gentlemen, you are leaving the money zone. APSA Bank will give you 960 Ghana CDs to take along. All the best in your endeavors. Ascent State College, thank you for being here. You gave a good fight. Unfortunately, we must say goodbye. But you've done well for your first time. You've done really well. So you should be proud of yourselves. As we are leaving the money zone, you are not going empty-handed. You are taking 1,160 Ghana CDs with you. All the best in everything you do. Addis Adel College, congratulations on winning the contest. This was a tough one, wasn't it? Well, you have won, so congratulations. All right. As we are in the money zone, APSA Bank will be giving you 1,240 Ghana CDs to take along. All right? But the best part is this. You have qualified to the semifinals. We also have another one. There is an Airtel Tigo Higher Scorer Award. Unfortunately, with your score, I don't think you're making it. But that's available to the school that earns the highest score of the day. Well, gentlemen, please prepare well, and I look forward to seeing you in the semifinals.
viewers, thank you so much for joining us for this quarterfinal contest. Okuwari School would like to effect a substitution. Andrews. Anderson, you are welcome. Round four. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case the statement is available to the two remaining schools. Such a statement can be answered by ringing. If you ring and answer correctly, Two full points. If not, there's a penalty. Best wishes, everyone. Opokuari School. The graph of a quadratic function has a y-intercept. Anderson? False. No, that's a true statement. St. Augustine's. The graph of a quadratic function has an x-intercept. Denzel? True. No, that's a false statement. Adesadel. The graph of a cubic function has at least one x intercept. Prince? True. Yes. of a reaction is proportional to the concentration of only one reactant, then the reaction is first order. Anderson? False. Oh, no.
reaction is second order, it means the rate of the reaction depends on the concentration of more than one reactant. Sylvester? False. Yes. If a change in concentration of a reactant has no effect on the rate of the reaction, then the reaction is zero order. Prince? Pause. Yes. When medicine is delivered by a patch attached to the skin, it is said to be delivered sublingually. Anderson. True. Oh no. is delivered by a patch attached to the skin, it is said to be delivered subcutaneously. Sylvester? True. True. No. That's a false statement. College. When medicine is delivered by a patch attached to the skin, it is said to be delivered intramuscularly. Prince. False. Yes. I need quiet. They need to hear me. I am pleading with you. They need to hear me. They need to think.
Opokuware School. DK by beta particle emission of a radionuclide occurs by conversion between a neutron and a proton in the nucleus of the radionuclide or by capture of an atomic electron which interacts with a proton in the nucleus to produce a beta particle and a neutrino which are then immediately emitted. Anderson. True. Oh no. Beta particles emitted by a given beta active radionuclide are emitted with the same kinetic energy whose value is determined by the binding energy of the radionuclide and the position of the radionuclide relative to the nuclear stability curve. Sylvester? False. Yes. Addis Adel. The energy spectrum of beta particles emitted by a given beta active radionuclide is a continuous curve with an energy limit determined by the initial and final states in the decay process and a single peak in the spectrum. Yes, friends? False. No, that's a true statement. Next set has a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Preamble. Cosine of the angle A plus B plus cosine of the angle A minus B is equal to, as a preamble, cosine of the angle A plus B plus cosine of the angle A minus B is equal to, opokuare, 2 multiplied by cosine of A multiplied by sine of B. Anderson. False. Yes. With the same preamble. St. Augustine's with the same preamble. Negative 2 multiplied by sine of A multiplied by sine of B. Yes, Sylvester. False. You are right. Two multiplied by cosine of A multiplied by cosine of B. 
Yes, friends. True. Yes. Next set. Opokuari School. The rate of effusion of a quantity of gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its mass. Anderson? False. You're right. Under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, heavier molecules will always effuse through a hole more slowly than lighter molecules. Sylvester? False. No, that's a true statement. Under the same temperature and pressure conditions, if two gases, A and B, have the same average kinetic energy and diffuse at the same rate, then they are the same. Prince. False. Yes. <laughs> Next set, I have a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Preamble. Indicates whether the given statement is true or false with respect to how the composition of filtrates changes as it travels through the loop of Henley of the nephron. Indicates whether the given statement is true or false with respect to how the composition of filtrates changes as it travels through the loop of Henley of the nephron. Opokuware. In the ascending limb, the volume decreases, and in the descending limb, the concentration increases. Anderson? False. Yes. With the same preamble. In the descending limb, the volume decreases, and in the ascending limb, the concentration increases. Denzel? True. True. No, that's a false statement. Addis Adel, with the same preamble. In the ascending limb, the volume decreases, and in the descending limb, the concentration decreases. Prince. False. Yes. Last set of statements, last one. Okokuare. The work done in changing the elongation of a spring is directly proportional to the square of the change in length of the spring. Anderson? True. No, that's a St. Augustine's. energy stored by a stretched spring is directly proportional to the square of the elongation of the spring relative to its unstretched state.
Denzel? True. Yes. Last statement. The work done in changing the elongation of a spring equals the change in the energy stored by the spring. Prince? True. You are right. And that's the end of the fourth round. Bonanza. This is a reward for a school that solves three or four riddles. At this stage, that is the semi-finals, solving three riddles fetches the team 2,000 Ghana CDs, while solving four riddles fetches the team 2,400 Ghana CDs. All right. So in this round, I'm going to be reading out the clues. Solve the riddle. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, Three points. For an opportunity to solve the riddle, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, Pukuare? Thank you. Yours, St. Augustine's. Thank you. And yours, at the Sadal College. When you ring, your answer must be ready. There are four riddles. a solid geometric figure. My cross section is a polygon. I am bounded by polygonal faces. That makes me a polyhedron. I have six vertices, 12 edges, and eight triangular faces. All my faces are congruent, regular triangles. So who am I? Yes. Which of you, Sylvester? Octahedron. Octahedron. No. Who ran next? Yes. Go on, Anderson. It is a nonahedron. Hmm? Nonahedron. No. Who am I? Did you ring? Okay, go ahead. Regular octahedron. Yes. A regular
Can we settle down? The contest is not over. Can we settle down? Please. Please, Sadis Adel, can we settle down? Please, you came with them, so go and control them. It's not my job to control your supporters. Please, settle down and the Opokuwari boy is going. Please, leave silently. Leave silently. Don't disturb us. Please. Next one. I am a property of matter. I cause bodies to exert forces on each other. Those forces obey an inverse square law. In macroscopic matter, I only occur in integer multiples of a fundamental unit. Yes. Charge. I'm not accepting that. The electronic charge. Integer multiples. Did you ring? You ran. Charge. Electric charge. You are right. Three points. Next one. shaped patches of endocrine tissue first described in rabbits in 1869 but were soon identified in mammals and other vertebrates yes Sylvester PS patches PS patches no did you ring okay we have a glomerular-like capillary network with a direct arteriolar blood supply. We consist of four distinct cell types, of which three, that is alpha, beta, and delta. Yes. Islet of Langerhans. Yes. <laughs> one last one I am a chemical with strong absorption in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum I am commonly an organic compound with extensive conjugation I am generally soluble in water or an appropriate solvent I am known for my strong binding ability to substrates. Although my name may not sound attractive, I am visibly attractive. I am an essential reagent at GTP, imparting color to fabrics. So who am I? Oh. 
Krummel for. Krummel for. No. of the contest here are the final scores. St. Augustine's College has 22 points. Opokuari School has 33 points. Adesadal College has 45 points. St. Augustine's College, thank you for being here. We must say goodbye at this point. All the best. As you are leaving the money zone, AFSA Bank is giving you 1,320 Ghana CDs to take along. All the best. Opokuwari School. Unfortunately, we must say goodbye to you at this stage. Thank you so much for giving us a really good contest. From the money zone, you are taking 1,980 Ghana CDs. Best wishes in everything you do. At the Sadal College, Congratulations on winning the contest. Congratulations. It was a slow start, but you ended very strongly. Well done. Yes. From the money zone, you are taking 2,700 Ghana CDs. We actually also had the Airtel Tigo Highest Cora Award worth 5,000 Ghana CDs, but I don't think you are getting that. No, no, you are not. But the best thing, best thing is that I look forward to meeting you at the grand finale. Congratulations. <laughs> Viewers, thank you for joining us for this contest. Oh, what a contest. It's been something else. Anyway. We have one last contest left for the 2022 edition of the National Science and Math Quiz. This is going to be the grand finale and it's going to feature our reigning champions, Prime College, Presbyterian Boys Secondary School and at Desadal College. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to miss that. If you've been with us all this while, you cannot miss the grand finale. So I look forward to seeing all of you. Now, before we go, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with AFSA Bank and supported by Joy News, Boyle, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Airtel Tigo, GNPC, Dano Milk, Newmont Ghana, Academic City University College, Accra College of Medicine, Zipline, Studio HD, and YFM. My name is Elsie Fakoffman, and this has been a prime time production. Thank you and see you at the grand finale. Bye. <laughs>
Yes, play up, play up Santa Claus, yes. Play up and play the game. Give nothing but your best. And never think of rest. Play up for the school's great name. And that is what the contestants from at this adult college did this evening right here on stage. At a point when many talks that they were the underdogs in this contest uh, against a Sanji regional champions of Okuwari School. Uh, and then St. Augustine's College, they qualified from the quarterfinals with the highest point so far at the quarterfinals, 67 points. Many talks that with Addis Adam College, low scores in their previous contest, they were the underdogs. But no, they played up and now they are the winners. The gentlemen are very excited. Let's speak to them. At this other college, I should say, they know how to get to the grand finale of the National Science and Maths Quiz. In the years 2015 to 2018, they were in the grand finale four consecutive times. And they won in the year 2016. In 2015, they did not win the trophy. In 2016, um, they won the trophy. In 2017, they didn't win. Um, in 2018, they didn't win. This year, they are again in the grand finale. I want to find out from them, are you going to win a trophy this time around? The same way we came from quarterfinals to semifinals. We use the same way to qualify to the finals. And that's on the same thing we are going to do on the grand finale. Don't expect much. Expect a down ball. Expect a down ball. Very slow game. And that Puma for sponsoring us. Okay, let me talk to you. Sir, what's your name? I'm Klinsman. Klinsman. KKM. Are you a teacher? No, I know. Which year did you complete? 2015. 2015. Tell me, what is the feeling like for you? Your your boys know Santa Claus, and you know how to get to the final. But many times, today, you, you don't, you don't, you don't. You just observe it today. Okay. And I remember the last time I had the same conversation with you. Yeah. When we when we we, we were done with the suspension, we had the finals with Prempe, Presek, and Adisado Kali. And we are meeting again. The wonders today is going to happen. The wonders today is going to happen. And this guy is going to live their trophy. We shall laugh. All is, all is set for the grand finale now. We have Premper College in the grand finale. We also have Presec Legon. And then now we have Addis Adel College. What many um, NSMQ enthusiasts are asking, is it going to be a repeat, a revenge, or at this other college, is going to be a small spot to ruin it for the two other schools. Now, many are asking a repeat because in the year 2021, 20, um, we know Premier College beat Presec Legon in the grand finale to lift the trophy. Is it payback time? Is it revenge time um, for Presec Legon? That is the question many are asking. And will at this other college rise to the occasion like they've done today? to ruin the party, uh, to be the small spot of the grand finale for the two schools. These are the questions that I um, are asking. Talk to me. It's all about composure. We will compose from day one. We don't panic. You can see our counterparts kept on shouting, Tikuri, Tikuri, Tikuri. What happened? And experience. Composure. Compo down ball. Composure. Composure. Down ball. Like, we are not going to run. We are not going to chat. But on a G day, we are going to ride on the zebras back to Cape Coast. Santa Land. Just down ball. Wait. At a point, at a point, I saw St. Augustine's College. Yeah. St. Augustine's College. Um, why are you from, is it central, is it the central region? Hey, family, we are in thicker than water. We are in thicker than water. And, and in central region, we are very sacrificial. If you be very observant, the national contest, national sacrifice itself, and we won. So this time we sacrifice the eyes for them to win, you understand? You can't compare yourself to a college. A school and a different, uh, school and college, there's a vast difference. You see, August score and Addis score, the, the, the brotherhood know, it's just serious. Yeah, no, no. Addis score and August score, you are calling it. Yes.